began to see and realize the problem of Zimbabwe when it was starting at its inception they realized that there was a political crisis in Zimbabwe and as they did not only realize that and document it uh, like other institutions they went as far as acting against the government, targeting uh, government officials as a way of putting pressure uh, so that the government of Zimbabwe respect issues of human rights. They went a step further and they also they crafted Zidera Act, uh, which is a law of the United States of America. And that law is seeking to put pressure to the ZANU-PF regime uh, so that it compels uh, ZANU-PF regime to, 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 to respect uh, human rights uh, of the people of Zimbabwe. So as far as history is concerned, the United States has always stood with the people of Zimbabwe, urging the government of Zimbabwe to respect human rights. And uh, since the inception of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako, the United States has been seeking to re-engage uh, with the government of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako, thinking that uh, that government uh, was better than the government of Robert Gabriel Mugabe. But what is imminent now, uh, based on the statement that has been issued uh, by the chairperson uh, of the Committee of Foreign Relations uh, in the in the United States uh, Senate, uh, he indicates that uh, the the. Biden administration should take tougher measures against the regime of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako. They should actually abandon negotiating uh, with the government of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako, which means they should stop uh, communications uh, which uh, have been uh, ongoing between the United States of America as well as the regime of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako, seeking to compel the regime to respect. Uh, the human rights for the people of Zimbabwe. Uh, so apparently, uh, according to this chairperson, uh, Biden should uh, act tougher uh, on the government and uh, the regime of Emerson Dambutsum Nangako. What is the meaning as well as the implication of this, particularly if it is implemented uh, by the Biden administration? And uh, will this chairperson have the influence, particularly uh, on the administration? of Biden. Uh, one thing to put and one thing to note is that both the Democrats and the, the Republicans in America holds a view that the government of Emerson Dambosom Nangawa is violating the rights of the people of Zimbabwe. So there is a consensus uh, in terms of the problem uh, of Zimbabwe. And uh, as soon as uh, shambolic elections of 23rd and 24th of July, of Ju of August, sorry, uh, the recently held elections in Zimbabwe surfaced, uh, the United States was also the first country to come out openly and they indicate that they will be engaging uh, regional leaders uh, with the perspective of solving the problem uh, of Zimbabwe. And this uh, message has been revived by the Committee of Foreign Relations. Uh, if you see the Committee of Foreign Relations uh, issuing a statement, uh, that committee has influence, especially in terms of shaping government uh, foreign uh, policy of the United States of America. And uh, I'm not talking about just a mere member of the United Nations uh, Foreign uh, Committee. I'm talking of the chairperson. And you can imagine the influence of the chairperson of that particular uh, committee, because he chairs that committee. He uh, is bound to influence decision, taking into perspective that there is already uh, Zidera. Uh, Zidera wa wasn't that much tougher. Uh, Zidera still allowed the United States States of America, as well as the Zimbabwean government to engage. So when he is advocating for stopping to engage, uh, I think that message is simple. Uh, it simply means this is a tougher stance uh, that the United States of America seek to take against Zimbabwe, particularly uh, when 
uh, when uh, this the, the, the chairperson of this committee's uh, sentiments uh, will be respected by other committee members because if all committee members buys into this, a multi-party committee members of the foreign relations uh, buys into this, then it's done uh, for Emerson Dambuzum Nangago. And I think United States of America isn't ambiguous about helping the people of Zimbabwe. Why have we reached this stage? Uh, because uh, of what has happened on the 23rd as well as the 24th of August. Uh, it is apparent that democratic processes are undermined by this regime of Emerson Tambutsum Nangapa. Why am I saying so? Uh, elections were done, people voted, uh, the, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, uh, it, it is apparent according to various observer mission reports, and we are talking of credible international organizations such as SATIC, such as the African Union, as well as the European Union, uh, the Qatar, uh, all credible institutions uh, are of the view that the elections which were conducted in Zimbabwe were not democratic elections. Uh, they, they condemn uh, the processes. And also remember in all the reports, they also urged ZEC to be transparent uh, in terms of the results. It uh, was the ZEC transparent in terms of the results. Up to today, ZEC has hasn't been transparent. Uh, in fact, what they, they advanced uh, after numerous calls were made to release uh, the primary sources of the data that they released, uh, they said there is nothing in the Electoral Act as well as the Constitution of Zimbabwe which compels them uh, to be transparent. And so that was it. It was the done deal. So they came and announced Emerson Tambutsum Nangakwa as the winner. They didn't justify uh, this announcement. There is a static observer mission report that has been adopted. And this static observer mission report is clear uh, that elections which were conducted in Zimbabwe were unconstitutional. And a country, just like what I have always said, it takes other countries from overseas to see the problems that are imminent in Zimbabwe. But the African countries, the so-called our African brothers, uh, they, 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 they don't care about the plight of the people of Zimbabwe. They don't care about the problems uh, faced by the people of Zimbabwe. And uh, I think if there is anything, if truth be said, people of Zimbabwe trust the overseas institutions rather than the African institutions. Uh, Satic has been seized with the matter of Zimbabwe. We are not getting any details on what was the outcome of Satic. We are left to speculate uh, because they said they noted uh, the Satic Observer Mission Report. So if they noted as well as the Eswatini Observer Mission Report, so we will speculate that if they say they noted and also they recommend, they, they, they commended the work that was done by the Satic Troika chairperson, uh, who is Aka in the Ichilem, then we, we, we derive an opinion uh, that this translates to the fact that uh, they, they accepted the static observer mission report because they are not transparent. The organization is not transparent to the people of Southern Africa, especially on matters uh, that are of public interest. For example, the Zimbabwean elections, they are a matter of public interest because we know there are reports, a very, very damning report about the elections in Zimbabwe. And obviously the attitude of ZANU-PF hasn't been helping the attitude of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission as well hasn't been helping. And so people understand that there are problems, but is there uh, any institution which is willing uh, to help the people of Zimbabwe? Because it is apparent at the moment the people of Zimbabwe needs an external help rather than an internal help. So thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press